Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahal, the second swing golf here at the 2024 PGA Show in Orlando. And we have a special guest today. It is Osti Rollinson here We're at the Titleist booth uh, for the new Scotty Cameron Phantom Putters in 2024. So first of all, Osti, thank you so much for the time. We really oh, appreciate pleasure. it. Um, I know you've been kind of working with Scotty on these putters. So this mm -hmm. is really cool to get your, uh, your feedback and experience here with this. So the Phantom Putters 2024, um, what's new here? Tell the viewers out there um, what's new. Well, the overarching theme that we have in this is called alignment by design. Uh, Scotty really wanted to infuse not only great looking shape, but ingrain alignment features into these designs to help the golfer know where that ball is going to start. And that's important in making putts. And so his overarching theme also was he wanted these to have the look of speed and movement. And that's where these kind of uh, angled chamfers off the top line came from. And we quickly realized that these kind of form an, a, an arrow off the top sure. line that really enhance the alignment uh, uh, language in these designs. And so put that into all the designs. Mm -hmm. And so you'll see this is the five that has those on there. That's really the only alignment feature on that. It has the three dot alignment, the top line that really helps players transition from uh, blades into mallets. Sure. But as you move up into the lines, the, the alignment features grow. Sure, yeah. yeah, and there's getting, you know, especially for players that might kind of need more alignment aids or might need more visual cues to line the ball up, right. you can get more of that with some of the different models. So yeah. um, now I know in past Phantom series, there's been that combination of kind of steel and aluminum. Is that mm -hmm. still involved with this series, with these putters? It is, yeah. So we, we all they all have aluminum sole plates and that okay. really helps us to get the footprint we want, the size we want, but yeah. still, be the correct weight. And it also, by doing on the sole plate, allows us to concentrate weight in the perimeter. Sure. Um, but the other thing we found as we designed these new lines of putter, these new phantoms, how we construct that sole plate, that aluminum piece, is key in making them sound and feel uh, optimal. And sure. so one thing we did in these new phantoms is we wanted to make that sole plate thicker because we found that that's where the sound comes from. It wants to vibrate. So by making them thicker, we stiffen that sole plate, reposition the screws to make it more secure on there uh, to really help these things sound and feel fantastic. And then we also put this do mill uh, face milling that likes on the super select in there. Yep. So all the phantoms, whether you're trying to five, five, uh, seven or nine, they all have a really consistent and great sound and feel. Sure. And you mentioned those models. Let's kind of dive into those kind of those three, the fives. Uh, the seven and a half yeah. and nine. Um, what are the differences between those three that golfers will see? Well, we showed you the five already. Yeah. It's kind of based off of our original five. We've cleaned the shape up a little bit. It's got two angles instead of three. It's a little more compact, uh, really from feedback from tour, wanting something that was a little more compact okay. and very clean look. As you move up to a seven, this is off of our current seven. Okay. We've moved the these tracer lines up onto the steel, get a little more weight toe and heel to make the inertia a little higher. We've elongated them a little bit so those lines are a little longer and then really enhance that kind of arrow feature on his even into the sole plate and the tips of the wings, giving it movement, a cool look. Sure, sure. And then uh, how about that nine model as well? So the nine has had the biggest change. And so okay. on the nine, excuse me, so oh, the wow, yeah. nine uh, is a departure from the previous one. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. So the one thing Scotty wanted on this was to have a full crown. He went into a shop and he came back with an old X7 where he welded a plate to the top to kind of show having that continuous surface from face all the way to back to put an alignment line on because on the current 9 and 11, it stopped short of going yeah. all the way to the front. We really wanted to have it on this. And the 9 was also one that he wanted these holes in the, in the bottom. And what yeah. that enables us to do is have a nice compact shape but really boosts the inertia by having that ring waiting. And as you can see on this design, that ring is designed with these angles, the same as the arrow on the top to really enhance the alignment of this sure, part. Sure, and then lastly, I was just thinking, you know, because we get a lot of customers in at Second Suite that sometimes might, you know, they think of Scotty Cameron putters and have the elegant blades, those maybe the, yeah. you know, past models, right? Um, but maybe the, you know, the kind of the foray into the high MOI designs is relatively new, I think, for Scotty Cameron putters. And so, um, at least compared to maybe the classics way back then. Right. So maybe, could you maybe explain to those golfers out there like the benefits of playing sort of a high MOI 
know, one of these phantom putters mm -hmm. and the benefits of, you know, that forgiveness and extra element there versus maybe some of those blades. Yeah, the, high, the mallet putters, not only do they have that great alignment uh, benefit where it has a lot of real estate to put bold alignment features on it, but especially these uh, kind of ring-weighted designs, yeah. um, that added inertia really helps the forgiveness of these putters. You can hit them off center. Yeah. It won't yeah. twist as much. Um, right. It really gets that ball started on the right line. It's key to get it pointed in the right way, and when you make impact, Make sure that face stays pointed where it needs right. to be pointed, and inertia helps you do that. Um, Osti will kind of go through the 11, 11, 5, and 12 uh, additions to the Phantom series. So uh, get us started here with the 11 and 11, and, and, or excuse me, 11 and 11.5. Um, what should we know about these ones? Well, these designs are uh, kind of a, a, a takeoff of the current 11 okay. um, in that it's our one of our highest moment for inertia type pumps. Okay. And so that was the focus of this, is really get the inertia as high as we can. And so when you look at this design, it has these wings on the back that really help boost that inertia. But also like the rest of the Phantom line, uh, alignment by design is key. And so this, this design also has these beveled uh, chamfers, angle sure. chamfers on the top line to really form that arrow fe feature. And on this one, we actually put an arrow mark on the top to really See play that, yeah. with that. So further enhances the alignment language of this putter to make it easy to align. We've got this contrast between the stainless steel and the uh, aluminum that really forms like a T alignment, another alignment feature on this, mm -hmm. um, and then forgiveness. And so when you turn this putter over, we've got this weighted wing feature on the bottom, and that is there to not only look fast, look really cool, right. but also to get that weight into the perimeter to the rear and back to help boost the inertia, but we found that chasing inertia can also hurt you in other aspects. So when you chase an inertia number, it wants to pull that center of gravity sure. back in it. Sometimes it makes it hard to release that putter. We want to make sure golfers, it's not only forgiving, but it's easy to stroke, easy to release. Yeah. And so the design is this such is that it keeps that center of gravity in the right depth to make sure that's easy to release, easy to stroke, but also super forgiving. Yeah. So yeah. The combination of forgiveness and alignment can't right. go wrong. Right, yeah, you can kind of see it's almost, I want to say spaceship looking, but there's a yeah. ton on that 11.5 model. Yeah. And I think golfers will get a lot of benefits from yeah. using it clearly. Exactly, so, yeah. Okay, so now the, the long model here, right? Yes. So there's a long model into the Phantom series for 2024. Let's talk about that one. Sure, there's been a real trend on tour uh, having these kind of long counterbalance type sputters. Sure. Uh, we at Scotty Cameron had one 10 years ago in our dual balance putter. We continue to supply them to tour players throughout those years. Um, and with the added interest in it, we wanted to bring it to the market. So we're offering the uh, the 11 in a dual, in a, in a counterbalance design, a okay. long design that we're calling it. So the way we did that, it's the same head. We just added uh, tungsten weights to this to get the not only the inertia up, the weight of it up to about 380 okay. grams. The length is 38 inches. And then we put this long 17 inch grip on it. And the grip is about 136 grams. So it's it's heavier than our current grip. It's got a little more shaft and that acts as the counterbalance. It makes it, so it's a super stable putter, but the overall weight doesn't get as heavy as some of those old dual balance okay. ones go. So on, it works well on short putts, but also long putts. It still has some good feel, good distance control. Yeah. With it. So just out of curiosity, what type of golfers maybe, or maybe what the putters or the golfers out there might have different strengths and weaknesses. Um, what player should maybe try something like this, a longer putter like this 11 here? Um, well, what benefits would they maybe see if they're struggling? And mainly the, put, the players that are going for this are just having trouble controlling those little movements on the, on the the with a shorter putter. Okay. Get a little twitchy, get yeah. a little, I don't want to say yippee, but I'll yeah. say yippee. Um, <laughs> right. This really helps, that added weight, that added stability really quiets the hands, employs those larger muscles Okay. Um, it, to take the hands out of it, to just make the stroke smoother. And it can benefit players that have that problem or just want, players just want to be more consistent with their putting, want a little, a little more help keeping that putter going slowly and a consistent tempo right. and smoother. Sure, sure. Well, uh, the Scotty Cameron Phantom line for 2024, there's a ton of great options. And now these ones in 11, 11, 5, and the long model as well. Some great options for golfers that might need some help with their putting. You're going to get it with these models here. So, Osti, thank you for your help today, your insight. Um, 
another great year, I think, for Scotty Cameron and Storff. I think so. Thanks. All right, Michael, we are now time for some testing. Yep. Down here in the basement of the Minneapolis store, if, by the way, the viewers don't know, there is a basement in the Minneapolis store, and it is this kind of putting world down here. So um, we've got the Phantom Putters for 2024. We have three of the heads for the kind of standard lineup, and then we've also got, at the end, we'll test the long version of the 11 as well. So we're going to break down the entire Phantom lineup. Uh, but, Michael, i got to first ask you, just what you think, first of all, of this lineup in general. Mm -hmm. It's kind of been refined over the last couple of generations. They had a 2019 release. They've done, they also re, I guess, reintroduced it in 2022, now in 2024. Um, what do you see when you look at it? Um, and in terms of performance as well, what are you kind of hearing and seeing out there? Yeah, performance wise, it's a Scotty Cameron. Um, it rolls great. Spoiler alert, <laughs> we're probably going to like the way all these players feel. Yeah. Look wise is where it gets a little more interesting. You know, you mentioned that. Uh, Scotty has kind of continued to refine this line. And I think you'll see, as you look through kind of the generations and even through these four models that mm -hmm. we have in our hands, you're going to see a shifting in the look. You're going to see uh, different alignment aids, different head shapes. And, yep. and uh, that's going to be a kind of a, a key theme running through this video is really the different um, kind of visual tricks that these putters play on you. Yeah, for sure. So we've got a 5.5, 7.5, and 9.5 because Michael is a putter who likes to have a little bit of toe hang and the I guess 0.5 versions of these have a little bit of toe flow, as Scotty would say. Um, the 11 is a double bend, kind of straight arc type of putter. So um, we'll save that one for the end, though. So Perfect. Let's start with the 5.5. This is the one that, by the way, you know, if you Max Homa, Justin Thomas, yep. they've been playing this model here. So this is one of the more popular ones of the Phantom right. series. Yeah, it's definitely the, the most slimmed down, almost like the, the, the blade version of the, mm -hmm. this mallet line. There you go. We've, we've we have dialed this putt in a little bit already as well. It's going to be probably what like like a one cup out to the left. Yeah, yeah. So we've got our cool little putt aim laser here. Is that going to get there? No. Nope. But it's just a beautiful feel. It, yeah. It's, it's it's very stable, but at the same time, it's not dull. It's, yeah. There's that, still that softness, that responsiveness. So this one, in terms of alignment cues, too, we have on this one, there's three dots that kind of make up, you know, right on sort of that leading edge. Right. Uh, but really, there's not much else. I guess no. you could kind of use that sort of um, the sort of wings behind the heel and toe could also act as a, sure. a, a means of alignment. Um, if you are someone that is looking for those cues, you know, there are, certainly are some here on the 5.5. Yes, definitely the most slimmed down model, though. The least going on visually. Wow. Pretty solid so far, huh? Not too bad. All right, so I'll give you the. I'm gonna give you the 7.5 now. Yeah. Just kind of give a little comparison on the look of those two here. Sure. Because they have a. There's. It's similar, right? They got kind of that double. You know, I like to call it wing back, but you know, just mm -hmm. saber tooth maybe. You know, depending on what brand you're thinking of. But you know, there's that sort of the mass behind the heel and toe. Yeah, the 7.5. It, it's it's very similar, just a bit sharper. You know, yeah. you mentioned those those prongs, those, yeah. those teeth. That's that's kind of the words that that jump to mind. Um, Everything, yeah, all the angles, everything's just a, a, a bit sharper, but still, you know, quite similar. You still got the three dots, alignment aid, um, still pretty, mm -hmm. pretty beautiful to look okay. at. Sweet. Hit a few with that, and then we'll refill our ball inventory here. Yep. A little bank shot. You notice the difference in feel with very this one similar. versus? Very similar. Okay. Very similar. I figured it would be pretty close. Yeah, they're 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 really like, I mean, these putters are all sort of like siblings, but the, the yeah. five five and seven five are mm -hmm. um, almost like fraternal twins. Yeah, when we get to the uh, nine head, it's going to be quite different. That's, you know, that's I'm looking where at this right now, and it's it's I'm already maybe you know, a second cousin. We're yeah, getting right, to, yeah. right. Beautiful. Yep. I mean, it's it's very similar to the five five. And again, I'll, re I'll reiterate as well. So we've got the five point five and five, or excuse me, the five point five and seven point five that we've tested, and then we're about to hit the nine point five. Yep. 
Um, those are the putters that have a little bit of toe hang or toe flow. So if you have an arc in your putting stroke or you like to feel that face rotate, those are going to be the ones that you'll probably gravitate towards if you want this, you know, a, a phantom putter. Mm -hmm. But if you have or prefer more of a straight arc, right, that's where you get into these, uh, the, the solid number, right? So the 5, 7, 9, or 11 are going to have no toe hang or toe flow. So if you're more of a straight back, straight through type of putter, you'll want those ones. So just something to reiterate there. Um, all right, 9.5 now. Yep. I'll give you this one. And I want you to, again, I, I think right away you're going to see a pretty striking yeah. difference there. You know, it, there, there's, if you look above, it's obviously thicker and chunkier. It's almost like the 5.5 five put on like a winter coat. Like it, it's still <laughs> yeah. got kind of the general profile. Yeah. It's just, it's filled out. It's thicker. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's still pretty appealing to look at, but it's definitely a, a different yeah. look. So. Mm -hmm. Um, if you love the 5.5 five and 7.5, uh, this is definitely yeah. going in a different direction. I think you're seeing that more too with, with manufacturers. I think this is a, it's a new one where there's actually, they manufacture holes into the yes. putter head design yeah. to further enhance the MOI, bring more weight behind, behind the ball, right? So. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you think about that one so far? Is so, there a difference in feel? Because you're getting a little bit less of this sort of, you know, they're kind of the, the aluminum. Um, there's, you know, the, the material composition, if you will, is a little bit different here. It, it's, it's, it's still quite soft. It's still excellent. It's maybe just a, a, a whisper more muted, just, okay. a, just a tiny bit. But as you would expect with maybe a slightly chunkier um, mallet, you know, you get a lot of the stability. But yeah, just maybe mm -hmm. a tiny bit more muted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now this is different too now because instead of the th sort of three dots that we've had on the 5.5 and 7.5, this has two sort of parallel lines that are right, right, um, kind of close to each other on that on that towards that leading edge. But yeah, it, it, it feels great. It's mm -hmm. it, it's right there. It's not. You wouldn't be surprised that it's a part of the same line. The, yeah. the feel is still. Right oh, in totally. Line. Okay, so this is where it's going to get it different and interesting now because now we're talking about this sort of long putter craze in golf. Mm -hmm. I've got the 11 here. I'll give you that. Um, give me your first, um, just on simply the putter head itself. Give me your first thoughts on that. This is, this is quite a, a, a bit more of a departure. Um, you see okay. a lot more, uh, a lot more visual, mm -hmm. um, you know, aspects being thrown at you. You see kind of the, the alignment aid on top, you got the two lines and then the kind of the big arrows, yep. you've got the, the black fill. Mm -hmm. uh, on the back of the putter, you've got kind of the, almost like the spider that you see yeah. in the TaylorMade series. You get kind of the, the little uh, wings out the back. Yep. A lot of different angles and lines yeah. um, being thrown at you. It, it does make it extremely easy to line it up, yep. but it's definitely, mm -hmm. uh, especially when you put it next to like the 5.5, five, yeah. very different. Yeah, it's a different because we really haven't seen Scotty Cameron dive too far into this longer putter setup no. before um, very much. You haven't seen a lot of that. And, and and they might do something custom for somebody on tour, right? But that's different than releasing something like this. Right. And so um, it, it's, it does surprise me in a sense that they waited as long as they did, but clearly now they've got something you can kind of feel it too, I imagine. The weight is much different than you've been putting with the last few models. Here. Definitely. And you like you mentioned, counterbalanced. Yeah. Uh, it's going to fit a different stroke type, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. Wonderfully weighted, but definitely. You yeah. Know, you, oh, yeah. You feel that. I know you're not used to that setup, but let's uh, we'll we'll, we'll give it a roll it. here. We'll see. Maybe we got four putts, and they'll convince you to make a switch or something. Yeah. Listen, I I was used to the nine five, and I missed four, so <laughs> we're, we're okay. Well, you just dead center. Well, I shouldn't say dead center. You very, use the left side of the hole to curl that one in. But. No, very. It, it, you can feel the stability and the weight. It, it's it's again another step down that path um, that the nine five took of of a little more muted, but you feel okay. like it, it feels impossible to miss hit this yeah, putter. It's, it's and the head is certainly heavier and more dense too. Yep. I imagine you feel that as yep. well. Because again, with this one, you had those you know there's literally pockets in, right in the in the club head, which you don't have. This is one. all filled out. Yep. And as we test this too, and some of the things that Asti was talking about as well with just 
the why there is a need or a want for these longer putters. And mm -hmm. it is because, as we've talked about with Larry before, if you've listened to any of our podcasts or any of our videos on this, there's a certain, um, you know, a lot of amateur putters have sort of certain tempo issues where they might accelerate too fast on putts. And right. if the putter is heavier, it is tougher to accelerate too fast. Right. And within that, your stroke can be a little messed up. This, by its nature being heavier, makes it harder to have right. a poor putting stroke. It's like a built-in training aid. Yeah. That's a beautiful one to end on right there. Curled it in with the help of the aid. The bank but, was open. Yeah, but um, I think it's it's I think it's what's really cool about this lineup, and we'll kind of you know we'll dive into it a little bit more in the final thoughts. But I think. It's all mallets, right? But right. they but they differentiate them so well with mm -hmm. the lineup with five, five point five. They have the different neck types, and then also just the visuals on each of them are very different. So, you know, for the masses, if someone is interested in a mallet, um, which you're seeing even on tour, more and more players to go into a mallet. Yep. There's something in this lineup for you. Definitely. All right, well, testing complete, Michael, mm -hmm. on the Scotty Cameron Phantom 2024 putters. Um, it was fun to, to watch you roll those and, and get your feedback on what you were feeling, what you were seeing, because um, I know you are, I don't want to say picky about your aesthetics, but you, you know what you like to look sure. at. This is a little bit different than I think what you would typically play, uh, but I think that's important to get your feedback then on sure. this as someone that's not just going to say, hey, Scotty Cameron, oh, great putter, right? I mean, you need to make sure that you like what you look at. And sure. These... Are, they're, they're modern mallets, but they're not sore to the eye. Yeah, I think when you talk about who's it for, you, you kind of go down a flow chart. Are, uh, do you like a mallet? Then this is for you. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of stroke type do you have? Obviously, if you have kind of more of a flowing arcing stroke, you want kind of these, uh, these, these high toe flow mm -hmm. putters. So you start thinking about the point fives. Do you like maybe a, a slim down look? Then maybe you go down to the five, five, seven, five. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you like kind of the bigger look, you go up to kind of the nine, five. And then if you're really kind of looking to jump on the, the long putter bandwagon, yeah. they've got something for you there. So really the Phantom line does a great job of having something for everyone, yet having very distinct lines that are yep. very specific and are, are different from each other um, while all still feeling great. Right, I mean, and there's, you know, and if you're still a Blade player, that's fine um, because there's a ton of options from Scotty the last couple of years. We got the Super Select, the Special, I mean, there's all these lineups that we have at Second Swing that you mm -hmm. can choose from. But, I mean, if you are a mallet player, and again, as we mentioned, so many players are gravitating towards mallets nowadays. Um, the Phantom lineup, it's, it's, it's kind of simple in a sense that there's only really just your silver and your black on, right. on, on, the, on, the, on the putter designs. There's, you know, there used to be kind of the yellow mixed in with the original Phantom line in 2019. They've done away with that. And it's so, so it's simple in that regard, but then it is very bombastic in the way they add those visual cues and alignment aids, which I think is really helpful for a lot of players. That's a really good point. I think when, you know, a couple times we mentioned maybe some of the putters are a little busier than others in terms of the visuals. That's a good point. These are all very, very sleek, silver. They look great in the, in the sun, no matter kind mm -hmm. of where you're playing. It's not a lot of weird colors being thrown at you. Uh, it's just offering a bunch of different alignment types, but the, the look is very, is very solid. Yeah, you'll get a consistent feel. You'll get forgiveness too. That's the whole purpose of these, you know, kind of spaceship looking designs is to provide that high MOI uh, performance to you. When you miss hit the center of the face, you'll get that forgiveness out of it. So um, 2024 Phantom Putters from Scotty Cameron, uh, go get fit at second swing, whether you want the standard length versions um, or you want to try that kind of longer counterbalance style as well, we have that option. So schedule that fitting at second swing, stop in one of our stores, get dialed in on the greens today. Michael, thank you so much for joining and testing today. It was a pleasure.